In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Nova trading bot to give you a competitive edge against everyone else. So Nova will essentially make trading significantly faster. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and you want to make sure that you do have Nova actually, you know, installed. And you also want to go ahead and connect to the Nova Telegram channel because basically the bot is ran through Telegram. So it's really important that you actually go ahead and just join the Telegram, which you're able to do so over here where it does say connect. And then once you're done with that, you will be brought to a page that looks like this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and select over here where it says menu and over here it will give you a list of all of the different commands. So as you're able to tell we got things like copy trade, sniper, positions, wallets, all that good stuff. But uh, the main one we're going to be using is slash menu. And basically it is going to open up the entire menu where you can go ahead and traverse through everything. So the main order of business right now is to actually go ahead and import your wallet to Nova. So in order to do this, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select on this option that does say wallets. Then we need to go ahead and select over here where it does say import wallet like so. And basically you need to go ahead and give this wallet a name. So for example, I'm just going to be calling this one like test like so. And then once you're done with that, you need to go ahead and put in the private key of your wallet. So go ahead and take a wallet and just put in the private key right over here. And I already did make one over here. So as you ever tell, it will show you like your wallet. So at the moment, I do have my default wallet right over here. But if you don't have one, then you need to go ahead and do this process beforehand before you actually go ahead and actually start trading and start purchasing things on Nova. And at any point in time, you guys could also go ahead and create a new wallet. You can rename a wallet. And over here is also the option where you can go ahead and withdraw and we also do have export private key and security pin startup so there's a lot of different options over here a lot of different stuff that you guys could actually go ahead and utilize all right guys so now that you have your wallet i'm going to show you guys how to actually buy different projects and tokens on nova so in order to do this we need to go to the menu and this time we're going to go ahead and select over here where it does say buy so go ahead and select on that and then basically it is going to ask you to input in a token address. So for this video, I'm just going to be using soul scan. And let's say, for example, we wanted to go ahead and purchase official Trump token. Then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select on that. And then towards the top right, you will notice that it will give you the token address. So we can go ahead and just copy that. Then we can go back to Telegram. Then we can go ahead and just paste it like so. And then a menu like this will appear. So it will say buy and then the name of your token, uh, the price of it as well. And you will see these three options. Well, hopefully you do see these three options. So you'll notice that we will get something called renounce, freeze and mint. And they do have green like circles over here. So if you do see green circles, then that means you are on the right track. However, if you see like red circles anywhere, that likely means that there is an error and that's a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, as long as you do have these, you know, three green circles over here, then you should be good to go. All right. So now that you're done with that, you want to go ahead and select on the wallet that you would like to use to complete this purchase. So I got my wallet right over here, but you guys could obviously go ahead and change it to any other wallet that you do have. And over here, we can go ahead and take a look at our positions. And over here, we can go ahead and select on how much Solana we would like to use for this purchase. So you guys can go ahead and use 0.5, one Solana, or you guys can go ahead and enter in a custom amount as well. That is completely up to you. And then this is another really important thing. We do have slippage over here. So you guys could actually go ahead and adjust this by just clicking on it like so. And then you could go ahead and enter in a different slippage value. Like let's say, for example, we were on it to use like 40. And then that is definitely an option that you guys could do. Or again, if you wanted to go ahead and select on a custom amount of soul, just go ahead and press on this and then enter in how much you want to actually buy. So let's say for this example, we wanted to use like seven Solana, then that is definitely something we could do. But basically you want to go ahead and just select on how much Solana you would like to use. And then from there, you should be able to go ahead and make your purchase. And you guys could also go ahead and select on this option that says switch to sell. And from there, you guys can go ahead and actually sell any of your different like assets or tokens that you did purchase, which is definitely pretty nice there's a lot more things that we could actually do for example we can go ahead and also copy trade so essentially this will allow us to make the same moves or purchases as another wallet so if we go ahead and press on this so if we press on this we can go ahead and select on new task like so and then enter in a wallet address that we can go ahead and copy trades from so this is completely up to you but it's just a really nice feature that nova actually does have but probably one of the best features that nova has is probably its sniper tool so sniping tools will allow you to actually go ahead 
and buy and sell like tokens and other cryptocurrencies um when they are doing really well so we can go ahead and press on that and there's actually two different options so we got snipe pump dot fun or we got the regular one over here for this video i'm just going to be going over the regular one so we do have a task going on at the moment so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select on new task like so then we guys can go ahead and pick on sniper or pump dot fun sniper so again this is completely up to you but for pump dot fun that automatically buy into new tokens that are deployed on pump dot fun based on our filters and then for regular sniper it will automatically buy into any new radium pools that are are deployed based on our uh, filter so again this is completely up to you but let's just select on regular sniper like so and then we need to go ahead and just enter in a token address and from there we should be able to go ahead and just snipe it we can go ahead and just customize it so let me go ahead and just enter in uh this token again so for example i just put in the trump coin over here so uh what we can do from here is we can go ahead and select on what wallet we would actually need to use in order to like make these purchases and over here we can go ahead and decide on the slippage amount and this is where things get really important we also do have the buy fee as well so it's really important that you guys go ahead and just customize this to your liking i'm not really going to give too much financial advice in this video i'm primarily just going to show you how to actually use the tools but i'm not going to show you exactly like what values uh i recommend you put in these tools guys uh this is just meant to be like a basic guide this is not financial advice but yeah you guys can go ahead and basically just enter in the amount of solana over here as well and go ahead and put in a minimum amount as well so there's a lot of different options over here so this is honestly really good and you can go ahead and use the snipe tool to your advantage and at any point in time you guys can go ahead and take a look at your positions by pressing over here where it says positions and it will basically tell you like all of the different moves you made recently on nova so that is definitely pretty useful so at the moment we haven't actually made any so there's not going to be anything there but we also do have this option over here that does say settings so if we go ahead and press on that uh we can actually go ahead and select on things like slippage uh the fees quick buy auto buy and we also do have this thing over here which i wanted to uh you know take note of is actually nova click so nova click is incredibly useful and you can actually use it on platforms such as like bullex um so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and select on nova click and basically you want to make sure that use panel settings is actually turned on right over here and nova click is actually a browser extension that you guys could use so if we go back to the download page over here you guys can go ahead and press on this option that says download for chrome and then it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this it will say nova extension and from there you guys could actually go ahead and just add it to your desktop and now whenever we go on platforms for example like bullex we can go ahead and just activate it like so and then we can go ahead and enable it and from here we can go ahead and select on preset by amount and preset sell amount and over here we can go ahead and basically just use it to our advantage so yeah nova has a ton of different features and this is just a brief video guys but trust me there is a lot more that goes on um you know this is just a brief introduction uh if you want to go ahead and learn more there's plenty of great and free resources out there i recommend watching other youtube videos as well looking on reddit and stuff like that but if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial